Welcome, this is St James's Park. It's got a 105 year history. In that time, Newcastle, they've won the league championship four times, the FA Cup six times. It's been a pretty glorious history, but now this old stand has come down. It's going to be replaced by a four million pound stadium to be opened early in the new year. This is a very proud football club and the supporters are probably the best in the world. So let's take the opportunity now, of going to have a look around. This is a match day and we'll take you behind the scenes. So here we are at the back of the Leaser's End, or the old Leaser's End. This is temporary accommodation for the two teams. We've got a temporary stand here that I think came from Brands Hatch. It looks like the stand up at the last hole of the British Open. But these porter cabins will house the players when they come in to get changed. Visiting team, today that means Derby County, and Peter Shilton, who's uh, playing his 800th league game for them, and Arthur Cox, their manager, formerly the manager of Newcastle United, and it's said by the Newcastle players that they'll be able to hear Arthur geeing up his own team because uh, they'll be just a few yards away in the home dressing room. So this is the passageway between the two dressing rooms. The visitors, the rear end here, this is the home team. Well, it's just 10 o'clock in the morning, so they're not uh, around yet. But uh, let's go beyond here and see what we can find. So here we are, still in this sort of village of porter cabins, this the home team dressing room. Directors see the match from here, a viewing box for the sponsors, and all sorts of cabins to accommodate the people who come here on match days. And at about five minutes to three, the players come out of the dressing room, down this passageway here, out onto the pitch to a really tremendous roar. in charge of maintenance sounds very grand what does it mean um, it's a very difficult area to define in that it's uh, that I'm responsible for the upkeep and maintenance and security of the structure of the uh, Newcastle United grounds everything within the, the, the confines everything all the fabrics excepting the pitch which is a specialized job obviously that's the groundsman's job well, it's match day at St. James's Park. 25,000 people will be in here this afternoon, but uh, not many around at the moment. In fact, there's very little activity, but let's just see who is here. Well, there's the groundsman up by the net. Let's go and have a word with him. Geordie, good morning. What time do you start on a match day? The ground staff start at 8 o'clock on a match day. The mu municipal car park, we've got a rope off by the fans and for the staff car parking. So we start at 8 o'clock. This pitch actually looks in, in magnificent shape. I mean, do you take the credit for that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite pleased that we've had underside heating in, which disrupted it a little bit, but for the time, yeah, it's pretty good at, at the moment. When you see uh, players kicking out divots, you must, uh, you must, that must concern you a bit, does it? Well, you get used to it after a while. I mean, it's part of the job, you know, that's your job to get it tipped up for the next game. Well, thanks very much indeed for talking to us. Sure. Well, just a couple of hours to go until the kick-off. Now, players go through all sorts of rituals before games, and the physiotherapist will be in there getting his kit uh, sorted out. So let's just see who is in there. Derek, all this, it's, it's a far cry from the days of the, the magic sponge, isn't it? Yes, um, we take away a lot of equipment when we go away. Um, we've also got a lot of equipment here. It, it probably it looks more than we actually use. Um, we tend to bring you know, too much sometimes. But it, it's just a mixture of all sorts of uh, strappings, tapes, um, Vaseline tie-ups, and then we have uh, tablets, lotions, pills, you know, all these type of things to, um, in just in case anybody falls ill as well. All of them strictly legal, I trust. Oh yes, we don't, we're not allowed to carry <laughs> anything illegal. Uh, we get a, um, a note at the start of the season telling us what we're allowed to give and not give and what have you like that. Finally, Derek, you, you were on Arsenal's books as a, a youngster, still a play a bit, but uh, this obviously suits you almost as much as playing. Yes, um, nothing's 
better than playing, I think. But it, at that time, I, I got injured and I had to decide which way my life was going, really. And I had the chance to do this as a career. Went to college and I haven't looked back. It's sort of the best of both worlds, really. And there's a rumour you're going to be called up for international duty, isn't there? Well, I, <laughs> Northern Ireland asked me to, to um, cover two matches just recently. Unfortunately, I, I couldn't go. First of all, we had a, a couple of injuries and I couldn't get anybody to cover me here. So I just hope that they ask again in the future, really. Thanks very much, Danny. David, what's it like for a professional footballer? You get to go out there in front of 20,000 fans two hours before kick-off. Do, do, do the butterflies start now? I think they do. They start when you get up in the morning. And um, I think some players have a usual routine. But um, as you say, I think the butterflies do start about, say, maybe three hours before the game. A bit special for you this game, because uh, you're playing against Derby County, whose manager was the man who uh, brought you back from America to play in Newcastle. Yes, I've a lot of respect for Arthur. Um, as you say, I came back after the World Cup, 82 World Cup, and uh, it was nice to get back in to England again, and Arthur, was the manager, brought me back. A lot of respect for the man. We're in a sort of temporary dressing room at, at the moment. Has this made any difference? Is it, are you closer to the fans when you come on and off the field now? You're closer, you know, where for at the other side, you just go straight up the tunnel. But um, it's temporary com accommodations, and it's adequate. Darren, what's it been like, this move for you to, to Newcastle United? Because I don't suppose you were used to, to crowds of quite this size uh, up in Scotland. I oh, know, um, I was used to crowds of about 500. And uh, the first game I came, I played, it was Arsenal. And I just, uh, my nerves were just unbelievable. Couldn't believe it. But um, once you start playing in front of it, um, you get used to it and you, you enjoy it. You're going to be marked this afternoon by somebody who's about three times your size, aren't you? Well, the team's not been named, but um, hopefully, yes, he's quite a big guy. But the bigger they are, the harder they fall. So that's the way I look out. So just hopefully I can do well. Best of luck. Thanks very much. Thank Willie, I wonder who gets more nervous before a match, you or the players? Well, I might be, but I'm not supposed to show it. Uh, you know, I've got to try and get the best out of them. I think uh, everybody that's involved in football get a bit nervous. Uh, I don't think they'd be human if they didn't. Um, that's a big occasion. You work for, uh, you work all week on the training field for that three o'clock on a Saturday afternoon, and uh, the hour before the kickoff, always a little bit of tension about it. Is the whole day on a match day different? Do you wake up feeling different? Well, it is. Yeah, you know, everybody prepares differently. Uh, I like to lie in, the, uh, in bed on a, a Saturday morning, feeling that we've done all our work on a Friday. Uh, sort of prepare mentally to try and approach the game properly as regards team meeting, etc. Uh, I think it's very important you try and give uh, players as much information uh, as you possibly can about opposition, etc. That's the way the ga game is nowadays. Well, this is a bit special for you because uh, you're up against uh, a man you know very well, Arthur Cox. Yeah, um, I would like to think with Pauls. Uh, I don't think it would be very poly from 3 o'clock to 25, but uh, I would think we'll have a, a quiet drink afterwards, whether it's orange juice or whatever. Uh, we'll get together and have a chat about certain things. Uh, I admire the fella. Uh, I worked with him, and uh, I think we've got respect for each other. Thanks very much. Really good luck. Thank you. Well, here we are. We're still in the uh, temporary porter cabin village area, in the Leases End at St James's Park, and it must be very strange to have the referees changing facilities so close to the uh, the players. This afternoon's referee is uh, Mr Tom Fitzharris. It's uh, it's a bit perhaps too close for comfort, is it? Not really. Most grounds, uh, your changing rooms are close. Sometimes they're even closer than, we've, than what we've got here, so no problem. The closer the better, really. Well, very shortly, you'll have to, to pop in and uh, just tell them to make it a nice, clean fight, is that right? Well, the captains and uh, team member, either the trainer or the manager, comes into the changing rooms 45 minutes before we kick off uh, with the team sheets, and we'll have a bit of a chat, no more than a minute. And I have both linesmen into their changing rooms 10 minutes before the start of the match to check jewellery, make sure that the rings are either taped or removed and necklaces removed. What about the atmosphere here at St James's Park? Because this certainly isn't your first visit, is it? No, I've got, this is my seventh, seventh or else eighth visit. I come here every year. Uh, I like the North East, Sunderland and Newcastle. To me, you've got a better atmosphere than you've got at Liverpool. If you've ever made a mistake or what they consider to be a mistake, uh, the, the fans wouldn't let you forget it, would they? Well, that's what it's all about, they pay the money. They pay the money so they're entitled to their opinions. 
can only do your best. I bet if I asked you to predict the outcome of this uh, game, you wouldn't give me a straight answer. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> Enjoy it anyway, thanks very much.